it's always good to have an option and an alternative. Rama Lama is an alternative to Olama through which you can run models locally. But there are few differences. In this video, we are going to install this Rama Lama on our local system and I will show you how you can run models locally with it, what is the difference with Olama and what exactly this tool is trying to accomplish. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot. So what exactly Rama Lama is? It is a tool that simplifies running AI models locally by using container technology that allows users to pull, run and manage models like they would run containers with Docker or Podman. It automatically detects your hardware such as NVIDIA GPUs and uses optimized OCI containers or open container initiative containers to run models securely in an isolated environment, eliminating complex setup, handling dependencies automatically and supporting models from sources like Hugging Face, Olama, Model Scope, all while keeping the host system protected with features like no network access and rootless execution. And yes, you have heard that right. You can even use Olama models with Rama Lama. So let's get it installed. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If your model is small, you can even use it with CPU, there is no problem with it. There is also an MLX support, which you can check out from their local system. You can install it through pip too, so which means Windows works too. So I'm going to first create a virtual environment with Konda. You can use PyENV or VENV or whatever virtual environment you like. If you're looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Our virtual environment is almost done. Okay, next up, we need to install this Rama Lama. As I said, there are multiple options. You can use this bash style where the shell script will, do will download and install it, or you could simply use pip. And this is the same style we use for Olava. And there you go. So it is fairly quick. I'll just take you up just to show you what happened. So as soon as I ran it, it has uh, given me this banner and then it is downloading it and installing it on my local system. Unlike Olama, this seems like a bit more heavy, but we will test it out. And you can see that the Rama Lama is now installed with its latest version. Let's try it out, which should be fun. You can also check the version with Rama Lama version. And then uh, what did I miss? I think it doesn't maybe use the dash dash. There you go. So this is a version. And then if you want to watch for the detailed information, just do Rama Lama info. And it is going to give you a lot of information about Rama Lama, which you can check out if you are interested. Let's check if there is any model installed or downloaded with Rama Lama. None. And then you can pull or download the model with this simple command Rama Lama pull granite mixture of expert. And by default, it pulls the model from um, Olama. You can also change it the repository for models. You can go with Hugging Face, you can go with OCI, uh, or you can go with Model Scope. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. And I will also show you how to change the repo. And there you go, Rama Lama has downloaded the model. And I mistakenly did Olama list where I was, you know, I'm so habitual of using Olama. Anyway, so Rama Lama list is this uh, model with the size on the disk. And then you can do various other things. For example, you can simply serve uh, any model. So once you do it, it is going to serve the model on your local system after downloading it. And then you can also have an optional GUI. Plus you can also use dash dash switch or uh, flag to specify your own port. So dash dash port space, any port of your choice, which is of course vacant on your system. And then you can simply use it on your local system.
and while that downloads the model let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and you can see that the model is now downloaded and being served on our local host at port 8080 and you can use it in your api calls if you like so i'm just going to press ctrl c here and if i do rama lama list you should see that now both the models are now being served here both lama 3 and granite 3 and these are from the hugging face now you can also measure the perplexity of a model by simply running rama llama per, uh, perplexity okay it is not supported maybe in this version but i think this uh, you can do it is quite easily where you can simply run the perplexity which shows you uh, how well the model can predict the next token with lower values being better it was working in previous version so i'm a bit surprised as it's not uh, why it's not working but i will check it out later and uh, paste it in the comments maybe we need to downgrade the downgrade the version or something like that anyway so now let me show you how you can change the repo because everything we have used so far is from olama so for instance you want to use hugging face which means that you want to download the models from hugging face simply do this rama lama underscore transport is equal to hugging face if you want to use model scope simply use model scope instead of hugging face or for oci simply use oci as a value now in order to download and run the model from your hugging face in a quantized format maybe you can simply run this command so this whole thing hugging face colon double slash the repo and the model name and then you just simply specify the quantized level of the model and it is going to download it for you and this is simply pulling it from the hugging face and as i said you can do the same with other repos and finally another feature which is um, i'm still not sure about how useful that is is around creating a rag uh, system by turning your documents into a smart portable knowledge base which are packaged as oci image so for example if you run this command where i am asking it to convert this markdown file which i have just created as very simple short file into some sort of knowledge base so once you run it i haven't given it my um, key dot io or docker hub credentials if you do that what it would do it would just package this thing into a container and it will push it to your uh, repository from there whenever you need it you can download it and use it as a vector store knowledge base with your models i don't think so it is still uh, that polished i think they need to do more work on it to really make it useful but still i think an interesting take around uh, ragging as within the container other than that i think the project looks quite promising a lot of rough edges still but hopefully they are going to make it better so stay tuned check it out let me know what do you think Please like the video and subscribe to the channel, that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.